What up everyone, today I'm back in the video, and today I'm here on Eric's account because I'm also testing the new Void Hero, but we are not doing that in this video. Today, we're going to be reviewing this event, and yes, you see his sad gem amount. Yes, it's very sad. Hopefully it'll go back up soon. Either way though, guys, uh, we have New Year Growth Plan and uh, basically the Ch new Chinese New Year. We have a bunch of stuff, okay? Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen from maybe Barry and stuff reviewing like before the event even came out actually and probably MK did a review too on Twitch but we're gonna do my own little review and I don't know what they said about it I haven't watched their videos yet but personally from what I've seen and I'm not talking about a, like a free to play if you're free to play uh, I'm not exactly sure um, how good it is if you go all in on this because you get um, 200 of these and then you could get 30 and then you should be able to get uh, 20 of these. So 20, 30, 50, and that's 200. So that's 250. Uh, just to That's just to get one side done. So I don't know if that's really worth it. Because if you just get one side done, you can't even get you know a core chest or a sublime chest. You could only get like one of these, which is really not that good. Well, you could get two of these, actually. So is it worth it to go all in in the scrolls just to get you know two of these? I'm not sure. Um, probably could be a better event. But either way, the point is, we have the new Void here in this event too. So if we scroll down, we have the, uh, what's her name? Elena, or Phantom Defier Elena. Okay, she looks like Starving Jar, honestly. Uh, we're going to test her in another video and do some other stuff. And I also have another video for Vulcan, which will be really fun. But either way, New Year Growth Plan, we have the $50, $30 one. At first I thought, I was like, oh, $50 for all this? That's insane. But no, it's only for one side. As you can see, bonus rewards, it shows that, then that, and then that, and that. Okay, simple. So it's going to be 50 then $80. So after tax, I mean, really, it just depends. But just say it's $80, $80 okay? So this, oh my gosh, this whole side, though, count it up. There's 20. I'll count again real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, yeah, I was right, 20. So there's 20 pages of this. You obviously still do get the free rewards. So, I mean, that's, you know, dope. We get some free rewards too. So that's, that's cool. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, but besides that, we have this, which is $50. For, I added it up, it's 4,000 Prism Starry Gems, which is can be used for regular Starry Gems, or you can use them as Construct Starry Gems, or you can use them to spend an event. So that's 4,000 Starry Gems for $50. So if we go ahead and just go over to Starry Gem uh, Purchase for now, we go over here, it's 2,500 for $100. And you do have to play for, I think it's a week or something to get all these rewards. I'm not sure, is it a month? I don't know, it's been a while, but I'm just going to say a week. Either way, though, Starry Gem Mall, we go over here. Oh, wrong one. Whoopsies. Uh, Starry Gem Purchase. Oh. Starry Gem Purchase, we go here. So, 2500 for $100. So, you know, that's terrible. But we add another 500 that's 3000 Then another 1000 which is, you know, whatever. Basically, $50 is 1240 And we're basically getting that three times with this thing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean... If you add both these, the hundred dollars would be two hundred dollars for for five thousand, but we're only getting four thousand. But if you have, you know, add three of these, that's you know, what is that exactly? Two forty, four eighty, and then six eighty, I think. So that's three thousand eight hundred sixty gems, or three thousand six hundred eighty starry gems, prism starry gems for one hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and then obviously the more you spend, the more you get because that's what you know DH does. Because every game does that. Let's be honest. Either way, fifty dollars for four thousand, absolutely amazing deal. Uh, fifty dollars is a lot. I will say that. I was really tempted to buy this, but I've been trying to save money because I've been spending too much on this game. So sadly, I'm gonna miss out on this. But hey, it's whatever you know. I'll I'll stay with my month monthly cards. And then the thirty dollar one, y'all can do the math yourself. We have twenty pages. Each one has a thousand gems. That's twenty thousand starry gems. Boom. Some Eloise, some food five. So just basically build your own E5 Eloise, uh, which is dope. So it's basically an E5 plus twenty thousand starry gems, food for you know if you want to build that, and you know obviously your puppets and stuff, and you get relics and whatever the hell that chest is. I honestly have no clue what that chest is. Um, so yeah, someone else might have to you know confirm that. I'm sure I could find it somewhere because I'm sure it's been in a past event, but I don't know. And also five uh, soul symbols, which will be pretty cool. So $30 for E5, plus the gems and everything. Definitely still worth it. Not 
as good value as this, I would honestly say. They're about the same value. This is like three times what it's worth. This is really good. Um, so yeah, so far, pretty good event. Let's hop in to over here though. We have this stuff. Uh, I actually have 12 more of this. How much do I need? Oh, I did this side? I did. I have 60. What if I go like this? I'm just going to toss them in anyway. Boom, we got eight. Cool. Um, either way, uh, we have this, which you get the rock from a lot of the rocks from spending money. And that's $750 to max that out. So that's a lot. And then five star heroes, everyone should be able to do that. Unless you're like super, super early. And then Awaken Heroes, maybe not everybody can do that, but um, you should have, to save up 10, That you should be able to do that, hopefully. And then Heroic Summons, I mean, a lot of people don't save up, you know, max Heroic Summons. But I know a lot of people, you know, because a lot of people have quit the game, and most of those people who quit are the people who don't know how to save. So, yeah, honestly, um, if you do have them saved up, that's good. But it might not be worth it to spend it. I'd honestly wait just for a bit longer. But at the same time, if you want to max this event, go ahead. And then we have this and this, which is cool, whatever, you know. I don't even really know how many uh, rocks you need to, like, max this out. But you do get all these little thingies and stuff from, uh, you know, getting them all in. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, yeah. No, that's five. Once you get them five in a row, you get that. And then obviously all that other stuff, pretty cool, whatever. Um, but you also get their... Uh, bonus rewards, which is not also nice, but if you do both of these, I think, is if if you complete both is when you get the chest. I'm pretty sure. Because it does say zero out of two, and there's two. so, And it does have the fan in it, so I would definitely go for the fan over this um, flag chest. Even if you really do need a flag, the fan is, it's, is, it's really good, and it's probably better to get at least one of the new artifact. Uh, also, we have this one, which also has a fan, so yeah. So overall, you can't complete this free-to-play, I don't think. I don't think you can actually get this, like, maxed out unless you spend money. So sadly, you can't get any free artifact free-to-play, which kind of sucks. Um, as a free-to-play, though, I don't even think you can get up to this, which also sucks. But you can get up to here, which also has a fan, uh, which is pretty cool. So we have a fan here, which is like, should I get a fan if I'm free-to-play? honestly really depends where you're at like for eric he still honestly really needs more subs like to be totally honest but like at the same time all he needs is one more fan for splendid because he didn't max the black friday event he was so close um so maybe he can grab one here and then the other he'll grab a sub and then here he might grab subs too um the core chest is good if you don't have the homes core i would honestly go for it because homes is really good you don't have his core and then obviously you already get some more cores from this too so i mean maybe just max that but that's we're talking about spending free to play you can either get a fan which is good or i wouldn't get this or this i would either get the artifact chest or sublime chest probably the sublime chest unless you're like pretty much set on sublimes and you don't really don't need sublimes right now and you're kind of just waiting like to push uh some other stuff maybe go for an artifact it's you know really depends on your account you decide more more than likely though the sublime chest Either way, you can get two of those free to play. That's pretty cool. Um, not too bad value. I mean, that's that's decent. Uh, and then we have this also, which is a little confusing, but it's not too bad. You can purchase this with gems. What I don't get is every 200 VIP XP, you get one. I added this up. This would be 200,000 VIP XP, which is over, I think, that's like over $5,000. I don't think that's right or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means, honestly. I really don't get it. But whatever. Either way, <clears throat> I mean, maybe maybe it is true. Maybe you do have to spend them. I mean, it's, that's no, that's not reasonable. Though. I don't get it. Either way, if you get this, you can get those rewards. But also, when you get those rewards, you get a number. If you go to Fortune Note. Lucky number. And on the day or whatever, they call it out or something. And whatever. I don't, I don't know how they do it exactly. But basically, your number will be called out over the two weeks this event is going on. I think it's two weeks. Um... Yeah, and pretty much you'll get double, or I think it's triple what you actually got in here. So I would get three more of these, I think. Um, that's kind of just what I read from the help thing. And then bag goal, this is actually really nice too. If you do spend money, I think you do have to spend money to actually get this. But you can get a B plus Awakening Crystal. So that's really good. And more Jade Bags, so pretty dope. Uh, I mean, if you're maybe free to play, you might get a C-, minus, which is decent, but it's not really that good. Also, oh, okay, never mind. And then we have this, like usual, 
Uh, I need to deploy her to use battles. Uh, she looks pretty cool, honestly. I like her skin. Uh, I haven't read her abilities yet. I'll do that in the other video that I test her. Besides that, also, this is pretty decent. If you have some uh, stuff saved up, I mean, maybe go ahead, grab an artifact chest for from this, because it's actually a lot better to do it on this than it is for the Gala. I mean, the Gala, if it does give you a B- minus Awakening Crystal at 200, it is worth it. And like before, we had the retiring thing. But I'm saying, for this, it's a lot easier to get the artifact chest, because only, you only need 60 points. You don't need, like, a, I think it's 100. So, that is good. But uh, it's really up to you if you'd rather save for the Gala and wait maybe if you're going to be minus crystal but they don't always do the awakening sessions they just do gala sometimes so this is better than the regular gala unless you want a sublime chest i'd wait and then we have the relay which is the last thing in here which is always a good value i mean there's really not much to say about this is always amazing value it's about a hundred dollars in total i think it's actually ninety dollars but it's close to 100 so you have five dollars then the free then you have the dollar fifteen dollars free it's the same rewards like usual. It just adds the event currency pretty much. Uh, I think it adds all the way up to... Where's the cores? Yeah, it adds all the way up to... Uh, I mean, even if you only spend $21, you'll get three... Some some bags, and you'll get the extra 12 cores. So that's 15 cores for only $20. That's still a good deal, but to max it out is even better. But it's just... It's whatever. Either way, you get 30 cores in total, I'm pretty sure, which is nice. Then you get the free reward again, because you have to get all the way to get the free reward. So you technically don't have to buy the last one, but it gives you the skin, and this, and this, and this, and this. So it's really good. Definitely worth it if you're, you know, like a decent spender. You don't have to be a big well to buy that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the event, really. It's not really too crazy, but it's it's good. It's not like an insane event. It's good for if you spend like a little bit. When I say a little bit, I'm saying about maybe $100, $200. Or spend just like $50. I mean, you can spend $50 and be happy. And the $50 I'm talking about where you get 4K Star Gems. You spend $50, right? And 4K Star Gems will get you up to all the way to, I think, I've got these two listed on there. 4K Star Gems will get you all the way up to a B plus here depending on what B plus you want, which I'd say the best hero right now in the game, if you want to push, you know, progress and even PVE and stuff, um, like Void Campaign, is go for a Vulcan. I haven't tested her yet, so I'm not going to say he's the best, obviously, but for right now, he's the best. After I test her, I'll give my opinion on her, but I won't be able to sub her or anything because I do not have soul symbols. Um, but basically, that 4,000 star gems will get you any of these copies, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much any of these copies, unless they're going for like some crazy price like that. That's insane. Um, so yeah, I could literally go in here, bid on this for 3,500. Boom, get this copy. Crit, crit damage reduction. Almost maxed out B-plus stats. That's insane. Uh, I wouldn't do this copy, though, probably. Uh, which does this have? Crit, crit damage reduction. Oh, yeah. No, I'd go for this one because it's got higher attack. I mean, the health doesn't matter that much. And it does have a little bit more speed, but this is also a little bit cheaper. I'd honestly say this is a bit better just to do the attack, but uh, and obviously, you know, depends on y'all. Um, either way, though, super insane copy for just 4,000 starry gems for technically $50 if you buy this. So overall, I say good event for, you know, low spenders. But besides that, next video, we're going to test her. We're going to have some fun. We only have a C+. Plus. I'm going to go buy a B-, minus, I think, just for now. Probably just resell after. Um, yeah. I did pull the C plus too, so that's pretty cool. Either way, we did uh, swap out the stone too, so we could actually already have an upgraded stone, because as you can see, whenever you play a well account, you have no dust. So yeah. Either way, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, and yeah, I mean, if y'all have different opinions about this event, honestly, out of a scale to 10, I'd give it a six and a half, seven, just due to the fact that you can... Like, honestly, when I first saw this, this is just the best, uh, like, thing. The New Year Relay is obviously still really good, but this is just really, really good value, I'd say. Because copies in this game are, like, everything. Like, if you don't have a good copy, if you have no copies on your heroes, <clears throat> like, if Eric had none of these copies up here, his power would go down probably 200 million. Like, literally, copies are so important. Which, obviously, these are, like, out of, you know, super insane copies. But even, like, a B-plus copy, like which you could get from the 4,000 starry gems. Uh, or 
instead of spending on a B plus, you could go ahead and buy your whole team some B minuses and Bs for fifty dollars. So either way, insane value. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry. Just uh, showing off my opinion here. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Definitely go join the Discord too if you haven't already. Get a lot of new people joining that, and I'll do account reviews and people's scrolls and orbs and stuff in there, which I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I kind of stopped doing YouTube for a little bit, so I kind of stopped doing that, but I, I used to do that a little bit. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.